For godly sorrow works repentance to salvation, not to be repented of. Behold this self same thing that you sorrowed after godly sort. What carefulness it wrought in you. Yea, what clearing of yourself. Indignation, fear. Yea, what vehement desire and zeal. What revenge. In all things you approved yourself to be clear in this matter. And Paul warns if there's not that kind of preaching, many will walk of whom I told you often and now tell you even weeping. They are enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. I came to New York City when AIDS was plaguing Broadway. People were dying left and right. Black Muslims in Times Square spewing out hate. Young blacks and young Puerto Ricans feeling the world has left them behind and angry. Intellectuals cursing Christ. Liberal minds who say there's no hope. And you tell me I'm going to come in with a 15 minute skit. And I'm going to have a cute little worship team giving little ditty bot songs. To a dying world! God help our blindness! Folks, we started down on Crack Alley on 41st Street in that ragtag theater. And from the first time I stood in the pulpit, I preached repentance. I preached the cross. I said, I'm not, we are not here to comfort you in your sins. We're here to confront you in your sins. And to believe that there's a Savior who'll deliver you. And they, the experts tell us that won't work. People don't want that. I talked to a man the other day, just, he was visiting one of these churches, and they decided they're going to break their church up in little groups with, with prayer meetings. And he went to one of the prayer meetings. And this is a seeker-friendly type church. And you know what the prayer meeting consisted of? Hot chocolate and donuts. And then they brought all the games out, the board games, and played games the rest of the evening. And there are those people that are dying in their sins, and they're playing Ouija boards, and all it is garbage. Do you think for one moment that we would ever stand with a Carter, myself, or any of our men, any of our teachers would stand in this pulpit where drug crazed people come to visit, people half dead, people crying and yearning for just one word of hope? Do you think for one minute I'm going to give a 20-minute sermonette to ease their mind? No. I am so glad he laid hold of my heart one day. I'm so glad he revealed his heart to me. And I can say with Paul the Apostle, he revealed his, he, Christ revealed himself in me, not to me, but in me. Hallelujah. And as, as long, I know as long as this man is in this church, as long as I'm in this pulpit, there will never, ever be from this pulpit an accommodating gospel. Ever an accommodating gospel.